Yo, what is up, guys? So today, um, Ghost Ship just announced that Deep Rock is not going to be having another seasonal update until June of 2024, which is at least a good um, eight months away. Uh, this is pretty disappointing to say the least, considering the fact that, and this is just in my opinion, I think that Deep Rock has. It's such a charming and an amazing game, and I think that to anyone who hasn't played the game yet, I would totally 100% recommend you buy it, and I think you'd love it and get a lot of time out of it. But for the veteran players who've been here since even Season 3, which, you know, we're on Season 5 now, right? No, we're on Season 4 still. So, uh, if you've even been here for that that previous season, the Rock Box and stuff, it's going to be going on for a while, and relatively, Season 4 didn't really add anything new. Um, and that's kind of segue into my next topic here of if season five doesn't bring anything significantly new to the game which i'm sure that it will bring something new into the game as far as some new gameplay element and maybe a new enemy i in my opinion what would add the most to the game would be new overclocks uh, a perk rework or uh, you know new weapons obviously would be great new upgrades something like that you know something that would actually change the way that we play the game content wise the way that i play the game in in level as far as adding new levels things like that yeah they're cool but it doesn't keep me around as long as it would when they were adding new grenades and new weapons and things like that that's just my personal opinion um, I know some of you guys are cool with just the seasonal updates. To me, a battle pass, I mean, it's great that it's just free, but these battle pass, since they've been inception, um, since their inception, I should say, they have been extremely grindy. Uh, they're, they're, like, over-dramatically grindy. Now, in the case of this season, where it's going to last this long, you could definitely complete it by playing at a pretty average pace, but beforehand, you would have to play the game a lot, um, at least like once or twice every few days and get your challenges done really be on top of them to complete them because otherwise you just weren't going to be able to. Now it's okay because all of the cosmetics and stuff are put into the overclock system um, so you can still unlock those. But either way, right, uh, still a very grindy battle pass and things like that. Now, um, this kind of is something that I figured would happen once they started announcing that they're going to go ship if you don't know has been working on multiple games at this point um, besides just Deep Rock Galactic. In my opinion, um, this is a mistake as far as Deep Rock is concerned. It's going to hurt Deep Rock uh, because it's going to slow development on this game more. Now, I don't hate Ghost Ship games or anything like that. I think they're great. They've been a great development. Uh, studio and everything. Um, I think the problem is just that I would have liked it if they left Deep Rock in a better place before they left to do other projects. Now again, I, I guess you really can't please everybody. I can't complain too much. You know, I am one of those veteran players. I have around 700 hours. You know, I've, I've played the game through its entirety. If you're a newer player, you have even less than 100, even less than probably 300. You haven't experienced, you know, everything this game has to offer. So. That being said, if, if you're of that group, there shouldn't be a whole lot that disappoints you about this. There's probably still quite a few things that you still need to unlock and, and attain. Um, but to me personally, I don't think it's a slap in the face because I think Deep Rock is what's fun at these other projects. Obviously, these other projects, from what I've heard from other people who've played and reviewed them, they were a little disappointing or a little lackluster, in my opinion, just from watching the gameplay of the other games. I also kind of shared that opinion, uh, that they, they look to be kind of not stellar games. Uh, I think they're going to be some duds, to be honest with you. But who knows, you know, maybe they could completely turn around and be much better games than what they look to be at this point in time. Um, but yeah, this is just an update video for, for you guys out there who are curious. The Season 5 is going to be called Rogue Core. Uh, looking forward to it in June. They're claiming that Season 6 will come shortly after Season 5, or th they say literally Season 6 will happen after Season 5. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that was in uh, like a go figure, because I really would hope that Season 5 wasn't just the end of the game. But, I don't know, that's kind of all that they have to update on 
season, or actually it says in 2024, season five is going to happen, but in 2025, to be announced, season six will happen. So these seasons might just go to yearly, honestly. Uh, so I don't know, man. I, I For me right now, like I said, I wish they would have left Deep Rock on a better note as far as, look, there's going to be an eight-month gap, and that's just an eight-month gap from now till then, not including the time since the last update, which has been months already, so, I mean, you're talking a year gap in between major updates. In my opinion, I wish they would have done more. Like I said, the biggest thing that they could have slash should have done, and maybe even should still do from this point forward, is please just do something like a perk rebalance or a perk rework that would be so great if they would just rework the perks, maybe make some of them better, buff a couple of them, maybe nerf a few of them, just change some of the, the dynamics of the game that have been uh, the same constant thing since, you know, kind of the start of the game, you know, 1.0 release. Uh, please just, just add or tweak a couple of things and maybe that would give these people who've been around for a long time new things to experiment with and try out and come back to the game at least for you know, a couple tens of hours, tens of hundreds of hours just to play around with them and try out new builds. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the new, uh, I guess, way that they're going to be moving forward with Ghost Ship Games. Sorry about the uh, lack of uh, uploads lately. I just haven't been super inspired to make a lot of videos. There just has been so much stuff going on in the gaming world. And uh, I try not to make a lot of videos that are just oversaturated. But um, yeah, so... Leave a comment below, leave a like if you remotely enjoyed the video. I'm kind of curious to hear what other people's opinions are on this uh, situation. Uh, as always, guys, have a good one. Peace.